Good day, church. My name is Sylvia Mwokolo. Myself and my husband and my kids are part of the South Location team um, of the church. And it is my privilege today to bring to you um, today's devotion. And my text will be taken from Psalm 126. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad. Bring back our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. He who continually goes forth weeping, bearing seed for sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. This is one of my favorite scriptures. Um, it has been with me for a very long time and seen me through different challenges of life when the lord turned the captivity of zion they were like them that dream now to put this in context the israelites were taken captive to babylon because of their sin and god had promised them through jeremiah that they would be released you can read more of this in jeremiah chapter 32 and um, 33 but as we all know there is that period of waiting between when the promise is given and the fulfillment of the promise that waiting period can seem the hardest to endure and i honestly cannot imagine how the israelites went through you know that challenge but i know for sure that I know how I feel going through a waiting period. Um, and so reading this story of the Israelites being taken captive in Jeremiah chapter 2, um, Jeremiah chapter 32 and 33, and reading the Psalm 1 to 6 when they have been released, I can only imagine the joy they felt coming out of captivity what joy that would have been you see the scripture gives me solace in my own waiting period it brings that emotions the emotions that i need to feel now as if i have received the breakthrough that i am waiting for you know what what it, what joy I would feel when I've received that breakthrough. It stirs up faith in me reading Psalm 1 to 6. I put myself in that situation, put myself in the aftermath of my challenge, and I experienced the joy of receiving it when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, when the Lord answered my prayer, when the Lord gave me my dream job. When the Lord blessed me with my child after an excruciating miscarriage, it was like a dream. It was like I was dreaming. Eh? My mouth was filled with laughter, my tongue with singing, and everybody rejoiced with me because of the great miracle, the miracle of my job, the miracle of my baby, you know, the miracle of my wedding. It was not hidden. It was obvious for everybody to rejoice with me. The Lord has done great things for them. Therein we are glad. You know, as the psalm says, um, the people rejoiced with me because the Lord has done great things for them. You know, church, we need to know that we're serving a God that can do much more than we can ask, think, or imagine. But he wants us to please him with our faith. How can we stir up this faith in our hearts? How can we please God with our faith? 
discover that what God has said for you would come to pass. First of all, we need to know what God has said concerning that situation, concerning that challenge. We need to know it for ourselves um, and hold on to it. You know, keep that mental picture of your victory. Hold on to your miracle because faithful is God that promised, you know, and faithful is him that can, that will bring it to pass. Let faith arise in our soul. You know, keep the vision before your eyes. Meditate on his word and imagine yourself. Imagine yourself overcoming that challenge and receiving answers you know, to your prayers, just like the Israelites. Imagine your mouth filled with laughter and your tongue, you know, with rejoicing. When things don't seem to align to, you know, God's promise for your life, when things don't seem to align to the promise you received concerning that situation, know whose truth to hold on to. Let God be the truth let god's word be the truth and every other thing every other man be a liar in that situation you know the reality of the situation you know first of all you know what you know the truth you are holding on to the word of god that is pertaining to that situation and you know the reality that of the situation you are facing but you also know the end you know because God has promised you what, what end result God has promised you. You know the, the, the situation you're facing, the reality, and you know the end. Um, you need to remain curious in the journey, in the middle, that everything will work out for good for you to receive God's promise for you. What joy, what joy is on the other side of your challenge? You know, the joy of carrying your baby, the joy of cuddling her and watching her sleep, the joy of doing life with your husband or wife, the joy of one soul, one soul, your friend, your neighbor, your colleague getting to know Jesus. For that joy that is set before you, endure the hardship. Endure the hardship from your emotions. Endure the hardship of getting a negative, a negative pregnancy test result when you're expecting a positive result. Endure the hardship of praying for your future partner. Endure the hardship of being torn down you know, when you're witnessing for Jesus. Endure the hardship and believe for your breakthrough. Keep that joy before your eyes as you endure the journey of getting there. Church, let hope arise in our hearts today. And like me, read Psalm 1 to 6 with a fresh new meaning of hope. Hold fast to God's word for you and do not waver because faithful is God that promised and he is able, he is able to bring it to pass. I would like to end with a brief prayer today. Father God, I thank you. I thank you for your word and your promise to us. I thank you for the victory that we would receive answers to our prayers I thank you for your grace that is made available to us, even as we endure hardship. And I thank you, Father Lord, for everything you're doing in our lives, Lord. Thank you for a brand new day, a beautiful day, and a day of great answers to our prayers. We give you all the praise. We say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, church, for listening today and um, have a wonderful rest of your day.